Okay, in our last video for our book content type, we're going to make an audience field. And for example, you can see an audience field here. It's like a category for the type of people who be interested in our book. So first thing we need to do is go to structure and we're going to make a taxonomy to, for our book categories. So we're going to go back to our website, just click on taxonomy. And we're going to click on add vocabulary. And it's going to copy the audience property name. So let's copy this, paste it in here. And we're going to copy this, paste it in here too, and click on save. So now I've just go ahead and term categories. And all I'm going to do is just copy these book categories from Amazon and just quickly add them here. So here we can add our terms. So what I'm going to do is just copy our term names and paste them in here. So let's go paste this one here. First one might like be children's book. And I can go and give it AS name. So just put, make sure you put stroke up again. And make that small b. Click on save. Okay, so the next term is fiction. So I just go add this term and just place it in here. You can put a description if you want. And this time I'm going to click on Relation. I'm going to click on Children's Books and put Fiction here. Make sure you put that little stroke right at the begin. Click on Save. And final one is Science, Fiction and Fantasy. So I'm just going to copy this, place it in here on Relationship. I'm going to select the fiction one, place that in here, put a stroke, make sure you make sure you get that stroke there, click on save. If we go back to our taxonomy by clicking on the breadcrumb here, uh, we can see our, our audience taxonomy. So let's click on list terms. And you can now see we have this taxonomy structure, which is the same as this one here. So let's add a taxonomy term to our book content type now. So we're going to go to our shortcuts and we're going to go content types and we're going to go to our book content type, click on manage fields. Now we're going to click on add field and we're going to click on this and we're going to select a reference. So we're going to choose taxonomy term and we're going back to Ashima. And we just copy audience, paste it in here, click save and continue. We're going to limit this to one value, click save uh, field settings, copy our help text here, paste it in here, and we're going to make this a required field. We're going to select the audience field here and we will click on save settings. So we can see our new audience field here. I just quickly want to show you something. So I've got to go back to all of our existing book contents, click on the edit. If we scroll down, we can see our new audience field. So say if, for example, this is a children's fiction book, so I just type fiction and I can see a suggestion for which category to choose. So I'll choose that one. Or I might choose science one. It suggests it, but I only know what categories to type in here because I made them, but our users won't. So how can we give them a list of categories they can choose from? So let's go back to our book content type. And the bit we want to select is this manage form display. So we're going to select this option. And if we scroll right down to the bottom, we can see our audience uh, field we made and the way it's displayed. So we can see it's an autocomplete field, and that's basically what it is, it's just autocomplete field. So see what other options we got. We have a checkbox option, autocomplete, we're using at the moment, and select list. So let's choose this one. Okay, so now we see that's um, select list, let's click on save. And if we go back to our content, just refresh the page. And we scroll down, and now you can see we have this audience, and uh, we could choose the type of category this book is. So I'm going to choose the science fiction and fantasy one. Click on save, keep and publish, and let's have a look, see how this looks. So let's scroll down and have a look at what this category field looks like. And we can see it here. 
And that's great. So in the next videos, we're going to be looking at how we can improve our display and arrange this to look a little bit tidier. So thanks for watching these videos on content types and look forward to seeing the next ones.